Assalamualaikum and a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, please take your seats. To bless our conference for these two days, um, we will begin with the recital of prayers by Mr. Abdul Muhaymin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa al-mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. O oh Allah, Lord of the seven heavens and all that they envelop, Lord of the seven earths and all that they carry, Lord of the winds and all that they whisk away, we ask you for the goodness of this ceremony, the goodness of its guests and participants, and for all the goodness found within it. There is no good except your good, and none has the right to be worshipped except you. We take refuge within your pleasure from your displeasure. O oh Allah, make us and our families true in speech, in times of displeasure, in times of pleasure and anger, and make us moderate in times of wealth and poverty. And we ask for your everlasting bliss and joy which will never cease. O oh Allah, beautify us with the adornment of faith and make us those who guide and rightly guide it. O oh Allah, Guide us along with those whom you have guided and pardon us along with those who you have pardoned and bless for us that which you have bestowed. O oh Allah, guide us to the best of characters for none has guided us to it other than you and deliver us from the worst of characters for none can deliver us from it other than you. Wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa alhamdulillah bil alami. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abdul Muhaymin. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aira Azhari and I work in the research unit at the Institute for Democracy and Economic Affairs. I will be your MC for the next two days. Ladies and gentlemen, the Istanbul Network for Liberty was founded in Istanbul, Turkey in 2011 as a group of think tank leaders from Muslim countries who are dedicated to the advancement of universal human values such as liberty, peace, tolerance, respect, integrity and equality before the law amongst the world's Muslim communities. The Istanbul Network believes in a vision of free and responsible societies in mainly Muslim countries with a mission to explore and promote the principles and values of a free society in the Muslim world. Since its founding, Istanbul Network has contributed numerous literature in the debates surrounding Islam, liberty and free markets. Some of their published books include Islamic Foundations of a Free Society as well as Early Islam and the Birth of Capitalism. This fifth annual conference, theme Democratic Transitions in the Muslim World, is the first one held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In these two days, we will have a total of seven panel sessions featuring speakers from Pakistan, Turkey, the United States, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and the United Kingdom. On behalf of the Istanbul Network for Liberty, I would like to express our heartfelt thank you to the Center for International Private Enterprise, the Atlas Network, and the Institute for Democracy and Economic Affairs for the generous support they have given to us for this conference. Without their support, this conference would not have been possible. I would also like to thank the International Institute for Advanced Islamic Studies who have kindly provided this venue for us. Your kind support is very much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, to kick off our conference today, I would like to invite Ali Salman, the CEO of Istanbul Network, to give his welcoming remarks. Besides his duties at Istanbul Network, Ali is also the Director of Research at Ideas and founder of the Policy Research Institute of the Market Economy, Prime, based in Pakistan. Please join me in welcoming Ali Salman. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Salamat Pagi. Uh, welcome to the fifth international conference of uh, Istanbul Network. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur and uh, Malaysia. Um, I'll just uh, quickly jump on to the bigger context in which uh, this uh, conference is uh, taking place. Um, 25 years ago, a uh, seminal political scientist um, 
Huntington uh, said that the concept of democratic politics and uh, Islamic uh, politics or Islamist politics are uh, not compatible. Uh, since that time, uh, many historical events have uh, taken place, uh, including the Arab Spring. Um, and we believe uh, that the debate about the compatibility between, between Islam and uh, democracy uh, should move on to the real dynamics uh, and to the more empirical aspect uh, of um, liberal democracy in the Muslim societies, uh, broadly speaking, and not just Islam as religion. As we have seen that um, the democratic elements uh, and the Islamic elements have been infused um, across the world in Middle East, North Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and even uh, Central Asia. Um, and uh, that is the dynamic uh, which we are calling uh, democratic transitions in the Muslim world, by which we mean uh, essentially uh, the countries uh, where Muslims live uh, in a uh, you know, majority, so Muslim majority countries. And uh, this conference uh, will talk about uh, various dimensions uh, of uh, this democratic transitions in these societies. And I'm very pleased uh, to share that uh, I think all of these regions I mentioned will be represented um, in different speeches and presentations uh, for the next uh, two days. Uh, when many of us uh, back in 2011 uh, got together in Istanbul, and hence the name, um, we had a very modest uh, target. Um, there were 55 uh, people in that gathering in Istanbul, um, coming from different think tanks, um, and many of them are here today also. Van Seful was there, Uslim, uh, Edu, uh, myself, um, and also uh, Daniel Green from Templeton, Linda Whetstone, Azhar Aslam, many people from, from the uh, you know, Muslim countries as well as Western countries were there. And there was one common cause um, that um, when we talk about liberty and freedom, these are the values which are intrinsic to our understanding of Islam. And how can we discover them uh, from within these intellectual, rich intellectual traditions of Islam? And hence, we set upon uh, this, this scholarly work or scholarly uh, uh, dimension uh, through uh, the international conferences. Many of these uh, uh, papers were then finally printed also in a book you, you might have seen uh, downstairs. Um, and essentially, the two dimensions of this work is, uh, uh, you know, knowledge production, scholarly work, and public education. We have uh, had con uh, about, you know, speakers in the past about 25 countries. 250 people have come together in these conferences. Um, and today, I think there's also an another dimension that we have um, not only uh, think tanks but also universities uh, are being represented in in, in this uh, conference. I would like to submit uh, that there are essentially uh, three main um, objectives of this conference. First of all, it is uh, the stock taking of liberal democracy, status of liberal democracy in Muslim majority countries through case studies and through comparisons. Secondly, it is to develop, uh, localize, and internal and indigenous uh, intellectual responses uh, to uh, the problems, uh, criticism, which uh, often um, are faced by the Islamic or Muslim uh, Democrats. And I think this, the development of uh, this critical intellectual discourse is perhaps uh, one of the important objectives of this conference. And we believe that uh, through this conference, uh, when we have encouraging um, uh, and with the help of our uh, supporters, uh, the, uh, the content, the knowledge produced will go uh, much uh, far beyond from this uh, conference itself through the publications and dissemination uh, later on. Um, you will have uh, seen the, now, by now uh, the agenda of the conference. Um, I think there's a very healthy mix of uh, both philosophy, uh, theory, uh, and situation analysis, um, and actual dimensions um, of, you know, from li li liberal democracy perspective. So I hope uh, that you will be able to uh, enjoy uh, the two days here. 
but I would like to also urge you to fully participate um, in the discussions we have uh, in, in different sessions because only through the, your participation we can make uh, this conference um, a success. Uh, I wish you a very successful conference ahead.